There is peace somewhere. There is truth somewhere. And you can find it. When Jesus was born, when he came out of heaven and into the earth, the angels sang to the shepherds who were there that night when he was born as a baby. And they sang, glory to God, honor and glory to God in the highest and peace on earth. So Jesus is coming to bring honor to God because he is God and peace on earth and peace among men because they have the goodwill of God they have the favor of God God loves them God loves the people of the earth so much that he came out of heaven and into the world he had created and the angels continue to sing today a great joy um, has become to you something that will bring great no good news have come to you something that will bring great joy to all people not to the Christians only not to the Europeans or the Americans or the Japanese only but to all people for today has been born to you a savior, a helper, a rescuer, a healer. God has come down and he is the Messiah, Yahweh. He is God. He is the Lord. And uh, that was what the angels said. That was the announcement of the good news that will bring great joy to all people. So there is joy somewhere for you to find. If you don't have joy, if you don't have peace on your earth, if you don't have, then come out now of darkness and into God's wonderful light. He is calling us and he is actually sending people and he's saying go to the ends, the borders, the extremities of the world so that my salvation can reach there. And salvation actually in Hebrew is Yeshua. So that God's salvation, that God's Yeshua, that Jesus can reach to the ends, the extremities, the borders of the earth, so that light can come there, so that light can come to you, so that peace can come to you, so that joy can come in your heart. And just as God said, let light shine from darkness when he created the world, in the same way, he will say, let also light shine in your heart. And I will pray for you now that whatever you are experiencing that may feel like darkness or pain or suffering or I don't know, that you will come out of it and that you will jump into the arms of your Savior. You know, he's throwing out a lifeline to you. He's throwing out his hands to you and saying, take my hand, take my hand, take my hand, take my hand. And then if you take his hand, he will rescue you and he will set you out of darkness and into his wonderful light. He will take you out of danger and into his safety. He will take you out of being judged and into acceptance. You will feel his love. You will have his love. You will become a child of God and no one can snatch you out of the hand of God. He is the strongest and that's the safest place for you to be. So whatever is happening in your life, I say, as the Bible says, call on the name of Jesus, Yeshua, and you shall be saved. You shall be helped. You shall be rescued out of where you are, out of darkness and into his wonderful light. So call on the name of Jesus. On your day of trouble, call on the name of Jesus because his name is stronger than any other name and there is no other name given to people uh, under heaven by which when we call on it we must be saved we will be saved we will be rescued and you can trust that he hears you and he will help you 
So come now, out of darkness and into his wonderful light in Jesus' name. Jesus, we call on you. Jesus, we call on you. We believe that you are God and that you are good. And you say that no one can snatch us out of your hand. So today we jump into your hand and we say, Lord, we want to belong to you. We want to become your children. Forgive us every sin we have done and forgive us our hard hearts and forgive us that we try to um, walk our own ways. Lord, we want to turn around and walk with you. We want to follow you. And actually, we want to jump into your arms and for you to carry us close to your heart. And I ask for those who are coming to you now, Lord, that you will comfort them, that you will fill their hearts with your amazing peace and with a new joy and let them experience your love and your safety. Welcome them into the kingdom with your love, Lord as you have done to me and so many others. Let them experience your unconditional love as your children. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray with a lot of thanksgiving in our hearts to you, our kind King. Here we come, receive us, Lord. We want to be yours. Amen. If you did, if you did that, you are a child of God now and no one can snatch you out of his hand, not in life, not in death, and you will see him face to face in heaven one day. And while you're here, ask that he will guide you. I heard so many stories of people who are in trouble and who call on the name of Jesus and he shows up in a dream at night or he shows up to guide you and read his word in the Injil, in the Holy Bible. And uh, you can also follow my videos and I'll try to guide you. May God bless you and uh, do not fear.